Shalom Temple Israel. In less than two weeks, we start Rosh Hashanah and we welcome in the new Jewish year of 5782. And I'm so excited to be standing on the bima for the second year as the rabbi of Temple Israel. It's going to be very different than the first Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, when it was just Cantor and myself alone in the sanctuary, staring at a large TV screen. Now this Rosh Hashanah, even though it's a celebration, is causing a lot of anxiety for members of the community. Some people made their plans a long time ago. They decided they will be in the sanctuary. Some people have decided it's more appropriate for us to stay home. And they're both good choices. You have to make the choice that is right for you. But I'm looking forward to starting this new year together with all of you. For me as a rabbi, the anxiety around the high holidays comes to writing sermons, to delivering messages on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And I spend a lot of time in the weeks leading up to the high holidays thinking about what I want to say and how I want to say it. And I'll admit I'm a last minute writer, so my sermons are still very much a work in progress with a week and a half to go. What I learned in rabbinical school and what I've tried to practice since then is that a sermon has to have at least two parts. It starts with this book, with the machzor, with the prayers of the high holidays and the Torah portions that we read and the teachings of our tradition. A sermon starts with sources and texts from Jewish tradition that we consider to be holy, that we consider to have timeless truth that applied to the people who lived at the time they were written and to all of us now, even though we read them differently. And the second part of the sermon, Probably the more challenging part than reading the texts, than studying the text, is using those texts to teach a message that speaks to us in 2021 and 5782. Because these texts, whether it's in the Mox or whether it's in any of the books behind me on the shelf, are useless unless they can speak to our situation right now. When I write sermons, I think about a few different themes. Uh, I certainly start with texts of tradition. I think about events that have happened in the world in the last year. I think of the state of the Jewish people. What has happened for Jews and Judaism in the last year? What are the big developments? And I certainly think about the state of Israel, our homeland, and how it has changed, how it has grown in the last year, and anything, anything that has taken place related to Israel. Those are some of the topics that I address on the High Holidays. I very much hope this year to give a positive and a hopeful message inspiring us to look forward to a brighter future. I know that this Rosh Hashanah is not going to be perfect. It's not going to have all of you together in the sanctuary, but I am thankful that we have taken a step forward from last year, that we can provide a high quality virtual experience to people staying home and an incredible spiritual experience to people together in the beautiful Temple Israel Sanctuary. But now I have a question for you. When this video is posted on Facebook, I'd like you to write into the comments, what are the messages that you want to hear on Rosh Hashanah? What are the topics that you think the rabbi should address on the high holidays? What's on your mind as we start a new year together? Wish you a Shabbat Shalom, and I look forward to seeing you in Shul this Shabbat, and then in the high holidays coming up.